We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Shine friends. So I just finished getting a coffee, a little teacher fuel before a different kind of teacher today. Brian is going to be taking over homeschool today. I feel like I never really talk about how often this happens. He's basically like my substitute teacher. I have a lot of work to get done today. And so Brian is going to step in and be the hero that he is because he is everything in our homeschool life. Um he helps me so much like all the time and i really don't give him as much credit as he deserves well at home i give him credit he deserves but <laughs> outwardly publicly maybe i don't talk about how much he really does and how big of a role he has in our homeschool lives but Anyway, the kids are steady working. Brian is finishing up a few things that he has to do before he can step in and take over for me so that I can um, get into my studies and my writing and my lessons and my admin work and all of those other things for the day. So he is going to be stepping in and taking over the homeschool day and I thought it would be um, fun for you guys to see what that looks like. Today's video is actually sponsored by Osmo. So a little bit later we'll get into how Osmo has worked into her homeschool routine and her homeschool day. I'm gonna go ahead and be a whole barista this morning and get this coffee to him and so he can take over our homeschool day. Cameron, where are your headphones? Broken. <laughs> apart. Anybody else have makers out there who when things break it's like I mean. A celebration. <laughs> Figure it out. So, so today's like a substitute teacher day. Yeah, I'm you handing it over, Brian. You're handing it over to substitute teacher. Banner girl has me out here planting flowers before school starts. Um, we got all the, all the plants the other day and haven't had a chance to, to put it down. But we're gonna get some rain over the next couple of days, so we want to hurry up and get them in the ground. So uh, yeah, this little mama has me out here doing with her headphones on. <laughs> Any question I ever get about homeschool, it's usually, what's your part in this whole thing? How do you help out? You know, how do you support her? And stuff like this. I just kind of try to jump in wherever I'm needed. So today she has some stuff she needs to do. I'm stepping in, homeschool day. The kids are kind of self-sufficient for a certain portion of the day. They're all in there doing their math. They work through their math first. Then they kind of worked on their checklist. You know, it'll be, you know, I'll, I'll have a little flexibility. And I'm a substitute. You know how substitutes oh. used to be. Basically, they bring the fun. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, I'm over here working on 
curriculum, creative curriculum guides. Brian's gonna be giving you a little sneak peek into um, how we work our way through our checklist for the day and how we infuse Osmo into her everyday, basically. I am gonna be using one of their games um, to add to the mix in our garden study, in our garden unit, and our soil unit, and whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's just basically outlines of how we live and we learn. So I'm going to be finishing up this project because this is kind of my deadline. And so it's great because Brian does have that flexibility. He can step in as homeschool dad and bring in all the fun. So I absolutely love making like little creative guides for my tiny explorers that are not so tiny anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done while he holds down the fort and keeps them on track um, with their independent work and other things. So I'm pulling this all together and uh, using the garden bingo and the garden diary that I made for them. But how amazing is this? These pieces are from the Osmo um, Enchanted World games, but they're like perfect to just kind of throw into the mix for our little creative um, curriculum guides for the kids. So I'm going to be working on finishing that up, but I just wanted to show you guys that during Brian's teacher takeover day. These are just so cute. It's a little blender and that is part of the game that they play. So Savannah, we got water. Savannah, yes. I need you to keep daddy in line today. Okay. okay. He's the substitute teacher, but I really need you to be in charge. So we're doing Osmo airships. So I'm gonna need. So how about Kendall, this? Get you really focused. Yeah, I don't even think you hear me talking now. You hear me talking, Kendall? Yep. <laughs> I'm making lime juice. You're making lime juice. Yeah. So what's the goal? So we gotta finish so many missions? Yeah. So I think the cool thing about Osmo is that a lot of parents' reservations about electronics, mm -hmm. or is it just. Are they. Are they getting anything out of it? Is it just some kind of mindless activity where they're zoned out? And they've done a great job of, it's super engaging, as you can see, but they're learning something at the same time. And they're putting to practice all these different lessons. It really helps them with their, their critical thinking, being creative, logical, their coding, math, all types of different different skills that they tie into to the game. I think Serena's done a great job with figuring out how to continue to be able to tie this into their lesson and make it something fun for them and engaging uh, where it's still applicable.
All right, so Cam, what we just what we just get done doing? We just got done picking a book for our language study. And Wings of Fire, which uh, looks pretty neat. I'm taking chances. Okay. Cameron's taking chances. I'm taking chances. I don't think I don't think fantasy is Cameron's favorite, but but he's taking chances. We're trying to get him to step out of, you know, try try different stuff. So the kids are still in there doing Osmo. Um, it's almost lunchtime. We're gonna let them make their lunch. And we might we might wrap up try to wrap up early um, today. We got to finish planting the stuff, and hopefully we can get outside to you know. Um, Savannah's new thing is soccer, so Savannah's taking up soccer in the end of the summer, and she has been really excited about it, um, and is dedicated to practice. She's trying to get me to coach her. She's trying to get Cameron to train her. Are you training her? Yeah. That, yeah. So she she looks up to her big brother because he's been playing soccer for some years, and she wants she wants to be trained. She wants to be ready. So gymnastics and soccer is, is like her thing now. I'm gonna go get lunch. <laughs> <laughs>